Right here. All right, welcome to Isle of I. I'm Sonny. And I'm Ricky. And today we're gonna do a comparison between Philippe's and Cole's. Uh, so these spots are known for their French dip sandwiches. And we're about to check them out for you. Come join us. Peace. <laughs> right now. So we're at Philippe's and we're gonna pretty much compare Philippe's and Cole's. Not to really say which one is better. Okay, for which one is better. I'm gonna do that. But there are also two that claim that they both started the French dip revolution. In 1908. In 1908. So they've both been around the same time and both say they started it first. So we're gonna find out which one's better and maybe we can find out who did it first. But we brought Ricky over here. What's up? I'm if, Ricky. If you don't know these guys, or this guy, he's got broken riddles. <laughs> All right, don't listen to him. It wasn't my just, riddle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so this guy mobs LA all day long. Um, check out his Instagram feed. He come up with some cool stuff. Um, some dope music. Some, Thank you very much. A lot of words. <laughs> I talk a lot. But uh, we're going to go ahead and try these sandwiches <laughs> out. And he's also the connoisseur of friendship because I think he goes to Kohl's at least. Every day. No. Maybe <laughs> once half a day. <laughs> All right. And we're we'll get try, to that later. <laughs> we're going to try this out. So there's there's two, there's a couple ways where you could get what you could get and how you get your friendship here. Uh, they come in single dip, double dip, and wet. Low key though, I come here and I always ask for triple dips which I think it's semi-secret menu, because we ordered wet today. Yeah. These look not that wet. So you can triple dip them and they dunk them. I mean, they, they get drenched. Yeah, you gotta say triple, triple dip. And they got all sorts of meats. You can get beef, lamb, they got pastrami, they got turkey, and they got honey dip ham, I believe. They also have like coleslaw. We did get the coleslaw. And, coleslaw. Yeah. Coleslaw, <laughs> and we also got a bunch of uh, friendship to try out. So we did uh, beef and lamb. And uh, we're gonna go try this out for you. I'll let you know. I'm gonna go with the beef first. Go for it. Man, what sucks about this, they don't give you the aju sauce. I kind of want that on the side because I want to dunk the hell out of this thing. Yeah. Probably. I don't know how you call it a French dip if you can't dip it yourself. It's already been dipped. This should have been called bin dipped. Yeah, the mustard's fire. This here is a kicker. If you've never had wasabi and you've only had it the first time and you get that kick, that burns. Wake up, bitch. I'm gonna try the lamb. But if you're here, you need to put this on your head thing. It makes a world of difference. That's well, pretty good. I see the bottom. The underside has been dipped pretty pretty well. But this, the backside. This is how the whole thing looks when I, when I order triple dip. So you still get the crunch from the bread at some parts. Yeah. Where you want it to be like completely drenched. Mustard. But I do want to try this. By the way, they also have different drinks. They also got alcohol. No liquor. But you can get a beer. It's good coleslaw because there's no raisins in it. You know what I mean? Like, this is just. So I think, I just, I still think coleslaw, if you want the best coleslaw, it's still the original pantry for me, man. All right, yeah, sneak attack right here. Oh my God. <laughs> here we go. Either, otherwise, I don't think it was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Not bad. <laughs> I hit you right in the throat. That's special. More. Oh man, I'm gonna die like Nate did. Oh, oh. There we go. Oh my God, half the bottle. Oh yeah, get it in there. You see that? That's what we call expert level jaws. <laughs> He's tearing, bro. <laughs> That's the trick. 
Oh. Free. That's all right. It wasn't that bad. It's all right. So we're going to go hop over to Cole's now. What's up? I'm Ricky. Well, <laughs> this is I Love I. I'm here with Nate, Chanel, Sunny. We're at Cold French Dip, and we're about to do some not yeah. picklebacks, but triplebacks. It's rye whiskey, house-made pickle juice, and house-made beef dip au jus. <laughs> right? That was so good. Damn. Right? Wow. That's yeah. not bad, though. I wanted to wait to see their reaction. All right, so. Man. Oh come on, Sonny. God. So you get the whiskey, right? And it starts to get that, that burn. And then you take that pickle. And then you get that, that sour. And then, like, the, the topper of, like, the icing. You get that aju sauce. So you felt like you just took a sip of soup. Yeah. This is like, this is like your timeline of the day. You're drunk. You're getting sober, and then this is your hangover meal right here. Uh, Perfect. <laughs> you know all about that, huh? Yeah. So now we're at cold. Right? Wasabi. And I do gotta say, so they brought the sandwiches out. And then like Philippe's, the way theirs look, dead. Like, no life. We're, we're not it's, hating on Philippe's. Yeah, we're not, Philippe, not hating, yeah. flavor's on point. They just serve so it's, many people and just like, it's like mom's lunch for everybody. But it's, it's like comparing uh, In-N-Out fries with like McDonald fries. In-N-Out fries is just dead. Like, this right here, man, that's not, these sandwiches look live. Like, Look at this. Every time I lift the plate, they're goes, worth their money. Ah, ah, ah. I'm not even. Ah. And here's the kicker: they give you the juice sauce, so you triple dip, quarter dip, million dip yourself. Or oh, slurp. Yeah. And so we got uh, we got their special, which is braised lamb, and we also got beef with cheese and beef no cheese. Cheeseless. So we're gonna try them out for you. Let's do this. Get it. Let's get it. No, you no, can't. I think these are both lamb. So, right? this 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 mustard here, they've been talking about this mustard. They said it it out it outdoes Philippe. So, let's 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 just try these out. They chopped off the tip of the nozzle. Yeah, so they can screw you right off the bat. <laughs> <laughs> I squirt this. Oh! So, the bread's not soggy. And you get to dip it how many times you want. You could even sip like just he like he did. But that's dope. It's got onions and other stuff in it. It's not just the plain meat. What is this? They're house-made pickles. You can't get these pickles anywhere, anywhere else. else. Just here in front of my bulgy mouth. I've never tried it with it without cheese. It's good flavor. So this is the real deal. Cheeseless, see how it tastes. Their beef here is really flavorful. It's like sukiyaki meat almost. Yeah. Yeah, right? Mm, Mr. Yamada san. <laughs> sukiyaki meat. It's a Japanese, but it's a French dip. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's Pretty dope. Good. So their their beef is flavored really, really well. And the fact that they give you the aju sauce is a game changer, man. Come on, Philippe, you've been around for decades. Yo, let us, let, let us drink it. Look somebody up. Let us drink the au jus. We dude. also got mac and cheese. Their mac and cheese here is killer, dude. I literally got a fork full of just cheese. <laughs> Man. And they got a lot more things in the menu. And they got a full-blown bar, just to let you know. So you come here. Mac and cheese. Have, have a good amount of drinks. So have food. Just to let you know, he also speaks fluent. Uh, what Spanish? Do you think? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sí, también hablo un poco, un poquito español, solo cuando se necesita, pero por mientras voy a, voy a continuar a hablar en inglés hasta que hay muchos problemas, pero hasta ese tiempo solo voy a hablar en inglés. 
I basically said I don't speak Spanish until it's absolutely necessary when people start talking shit, and then that's when I bring it up. But right here, I don't think no one's talking shit about me. Coles is killing it right now, dog. I'm Dude, sorry, man. Look, bottom line for me, Philippe's, Coles, 1908, whatever, they both supposedly invented the French dip, introduced it to Los Angeles. Fuck all that. <laughs> Fuck all the rivalry. Like Rodney King once said, can we all just get along? But uh, for, when it comes down to like flavor and choices that you got, for sure, Coles hitting it. They're the nightlife. They're the nightlife, they're yeah. the daytime life. When Dodgers come and play, that Philippe's gets crazy busy. You know, you see a lot of blue people dressed up in jerseys and stuff, and it's a family blue place. People. Yeah, here, <laughs> you know, you'll get, I don't know, maybe a relatively younger crowd sometimes. There's a whole bar area, and they have a, a wraparound that goes into the restaurant side. If you had to pick one, which one is it? <sighs> I'm sorry, Philippe. It's gonna have to be Damn, Coles. Damn, Coles took it, yeah. Cause they got my triple backs. But if I had to choose as well, I would probably choose Coles just because of the selections that they give you. Um, the, the meat was flavorful. I mean, and you had the triple back. Can't go wrong, but like, uh, yeah, this place is just, it's got a bar. I mean, you can come out here and do multiple things and just kick it with your friends and whatnot. But uh, thanks for joining us today. Um, hopefully you liked what we put out and then hopefully you can come out and try these places out. Let us know in the comments what you think if you come out and try it. Um, also, go ahead and follow this guy on social media. Does a lot of walking and also talking and also video filming. Instagram is at... Yeah, he's, he's killing it on Instagram. At... A-T-R-I-K-I-Y-A-M-A-D-A. -A -A. Yeah. That's it. We're going to leave all his info in the descriptions down below. We're also going to leave all the information of the places we went to in the descriptions down below. Uh, if you do want to check them out, just go ahead and uh, look at the description. They'll be all there. They'll all be there. Um, but thanks for joining us. Uh, go ahead and hit that uh, like button. Hit that subscribe button. Smash the shit out of that like button. Subscribe. Also, Share this with your family and friends because they'll love it and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace.